So, <laughs> so someone knows I've got a treat in my hand. So maybe you're thinking about adopting a pet like Katie. Well, you have two great opportunities coming up to help you decide and learn more information. Joining us is Lindsay Eckhart from Seven Petals Dog Rescue and, of course, Katie. And who's our other friend over This there? is Peaches. Oh, Peaches. Peaches. She's so fluffy yes. and curly. <laughs> yes. Peaches is our actually our resident. Um, she is our a permanent member of Seven Petals Dog Rescue. She was pulled from uh, a kill shelter up near Chicago because she has seizures every day. Um, and they were going to put her down because of her seizures and because she's she's 13. Oh. So she's quite an old little lady, but we still love her. Yeah. So we pulled her and she's living out her life with Seven Petals. Well, that's great. She's so cute and very, <laughs> but Katie's looking for her home. She is, yes. Katie is about two and she is um, a border collie, cattle dog mix, we're, we're guessing. Uh, she was pulled uh, from a Texas kill shelter um, because she had, we, well, we were told it was a cold and it turned out to be distemper. Oh. So we, uh, with the help of a really awesome foster mommy, we uh, got her all nursed back to health and she is ready for a family. And now, as you can see, she's an absolute lover. Yeah, so now you <laughs> mentioned she's from Texas. So do you drive all the way down to pick up dogs or how does that work? It, it varies depending on the situation. Sometimes we'll drive uh, to go get them. Sometimes we'll, we're able to arrange volunteers to, to come up. Uh, but it just it kind of varies depending on the situation and, and how it, we can you know most easily get them to us. So if she's two years old, is this about as big as you expect oh, yes. her to get? Yep, she will not get any bigger. And this she, is a great size. she thinks she's a lap dog. She really does. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I love you. Yes, I do. You're so cute. So you've got some events coming up where we people do. can learn more information about Seven Petals. Absolutely. We have two events coming up. The first is July 20th, uh, and that's our Paw Parazzi photo shoot. Uh, and that is a really excellent opportunity for you to both uh, meet the rescue dogs, support the rescue, and also get some really great photos of your pet taken. Yeah. Um, and then our next event is uh, July 27th, and that's at Forest Preserve Park in Monticello. And we're going to have a barbecue, the Dog Days uh, barbecue fundraiser. Um, and we'll have a silent auction and games of chance and a smoochy pooch booth and all Ooh. this kind of good stuff. Joe's oh. uh, ears perked up on that one. <laughs> I've got my dog chapstick. And there you go. There you go. Well, there are lots of puppy kisses to go around, mm -hmm. let me tell you. This is great. Yeah. Um, and this is important for you guys, especially because you don't get funding. I mean, it's all... No, it is all volunteer work, um, and it is all funded by donations and then any kind of adoption fees. But the adoption fees generally do not cover our costs, so we really need the help of our donors and the community. Now, is this something you need to register for, or is it just show up and come have fun? For the uh, barbecue, if you want to come and, and do the silent auction and participate in the games and see the doggy parade and all that kind of good stuff, you do not need to register. You can just show up. If you want to eat, you need to let us know so we can have enough food for you. Yeah. Um, for the photo shoot, um, in addition to doing photos actually on July 20th, we're also going to be doing low-cost microchipping. And th for that particular uh, event, you don't need to, to register for the microchipping. If you want to get a photo taken of your dog by one of our professional photographers, we do recommend you set up an appointment. Yeah. Now, a little bit about microchipping. How sure. important is that really? Oh my gosh, it's so important. I can't, I cannot even stress it enough. Um, it's something that has really um, been perfected. <laughs> Excuse you there. Um, it's something that's really been perfected over the last couple of years, and it's just, it's wonderful. It's just a little tiny chip that's implanted, kind of in the the you know extra skin that's here by the dog's back. So it doesn't hurt. No, that. no, no more than just a normal vaccine. Um, and then on this chip is put any kind of information that you want about your dog. Uh, you know, information about your dog information about you, um, information about, for example, our rescue dogs have all of our information in them as well. Um, and then this means that if your dog was ever lost and picked up and taken to a shelter or a vet or anywhere else, you you know, you know are pretty much eliminating the risk of your dog being put down at a kill shelter because they will scan um, and find a microchip and they can reunite you with your pet. So it really is just, it's a one-time fee. There is no you know hidden monthly costs or anything and it lasts the rest of your dog's life. Yeah. Oh, it's, right. it's a wonderful way to really protect your dog. Well, it sounds like a great time to come and check out Seven Petals. Maybe yes. get in touch with you to take this little girl home. Yes, she, she needs, needs a, a home. home. Yes, she does. All right, well, thanks so much for coming of in, course, bringing our you. friends today. If you want any more information on Seven Petals and their events coming up, go to stayliving.tv after today's show, and we'll get you connected.